Hi, my name is Nate Kievman and I am the executive editor of LinkedIn and Business Magazine. I wanted to share with you a quick tip today talking about LinkedIn profile optimization. And what we're going to share with you today is five simple tips to optimizing your profile, to making it more effective, more powerful, and more compelling to a visitor that's coming to your page. So the first thing that we want to do is we just want to take a look at our profile completeness. If you haven't done this yet, go ahead and just take a look over on the right side of your profile. You're going to see a little box that's going to say either 50, 25, 100% profile completeness. If it's not complete already, right below it is going to be some examples of what you can do to complete the profile. Just follow those steps and make sure that you do fill out all of those completely as you so choose. You can choose to selectively not finish your profile. For example, I have a lot of um, expert speakers and leading authorities that I've worked with that didn't have an education in college, so they leave the whole educational section out altogether. That's okay, just as long as you know that you're doing it by choice. That's number one. Number two, make sure that we change our profile URL to be our name or something close to it. So if you scroll down on your profile just a little bit, you'll see at the bottom of your uh, the main box here is public profile. Right here, if, it, if you haven't done this on your own, it's going to say PUB or public profile and it's going to have a whole bunch of numbers. It's actually quite hard to find you that way. So an easier way to get found by the search engines is to put your first name in. So you would click the edit button. Go ahead here. We click the edit button. It would take you to the page where you're going to be able to edit this. You're going to select on those names. Let me pull that page up. So over here on the right, we'll say customize our public profile URL on the right. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of this box on the right side and you'll see your public profile URL. What we're going to do here is we're just going to hit customize our profile URL. It's going to pull up and you can type something in and it will tell you if it's available. So if I went like uh, Joe Smith, I, pull, I put that in and it's going to say Joe Smith is not available but the following suggestions are. And then it would give me some suggestions, Joe Smith 2, my name first and last whatever it may be so then I go ahead and cancel that because I want to keep mine and that's it so that's number two so change your profile URL to being your uh, full name first and last couple tips if your name is common put either a middle initial a number um, the initials of your state um, an abbreviation of your company whatever you feel is fit for you um, just go ahead and add those to the end or the beginning or in the middle of your name just make sure you include the whole first and last name, um, your whole first and last name. Great. Number three is going to be make connections and join LinkedIn groups. So right here, we, there's uh, all kinds of theories, but you're going to want to expand your network because when you look under your profile and you look into your, I'm sorry, under your contacts, you'll see network statistics. And in network statistics, it's going to give you an idea of the reach that you have. So as you're going into that and that page pulls up here for us, we'll see that I have 20,968 connections. Now there's lots of ways to connect with people. I do a lot of webinars. I've taught over 35,000 people how to master the platform of LinkedIn and how to use the, the tool more effectively. And I invite people that are on my calls to go ahead and request an invite of me and I'll accept. Same for you. Go ahead and invite me to connect and I would be happy to connect with you as long as I have enough connections left. Um, there's up to 30,000 is our limit. What you'll see here is that that increases my second and third degree reach, meaning that I can go by in-mail directly to any of these people, or I can get an introduction to any of these people. Uh, so these are very valuable ways of having a little bit larger network. There's some arguments on that, plus and minus. I won't go into it right here, um, but there is a, a whole strategy around open networking or not open networking, and there's a lot of pros and cons to each side. I'll let you guys dig into that and figure out the best uh, situation for yourself. So, but nonetheless, you can also import your personal database, your, your uh, contacts, and invite them to connect with you on LinkedIn. It's very powerful, and it's a great way to find out who your friends know and who you may be able to do business with. Um, additionally, joining LinkedIn groups is another powerful tool. You'll see in the groups directory, I have a lot of groups myself. Um, I'm in about 50 groups. Uh, you'll see your groups here, and if I did, these are just some of my groups right here. You see that I'm highlighting up and down. These are ones that I, most of the ones which I own. Uh, I think I don't own the, I don't own the last one. Um, 
the reason for joining groups and the reason that you want to do this is because it's going to increase your reach again to the network. It's also going to give you the opportunity to engage and interact with your core target markets more effectively. So a couple things that will, that will help. It will also help you um, have a more rounded out profile as well by being in those uh, couple of quality groups that look good on your profile. So let's go back to the main page. You'll see down here below it says connections 500 plus. Um, yeah, that's not a bad thing to get. It, it's, I think it's kind of, uh, if you have more than 500 connections, it shows that you uh, are kind of more of a power user on LinkedIn, that you're engaged more frequently and more often. doesn't mean it's a positive or negative. It just is what it is. Um, the next one that I'd like to share with you is the recommendations. Now, the recommendations is a great way to increase and enhance your overall perception, people's opinion of you, building your trust and credibility. That's really important. So get over 10 connections if you're able to. If you're just starting off, just shoot out three recommendations to other people. And then what happens is LinkedIn system will request them back from them to you. Um, so send those out to people that you would like to receive them back from. And then a handful of those people will start sending you recommendations back as a courtesy. Um, so recommendations is the next tip that we would, re we su would suggest uh, in order to enhance your profile optimization. The fifth uh, piece is going to be your profile um, summary here. So let's see here. I'm looking at it now. So what we're going to do is make sure that our eyes are drawn to a specific area on our profile. What you'll see a lot of people do is just cut and paste a, you know, an about us, you know, a bunch of paragraph block paragraphs into their profile. It's not always a bad thing if it's well written, but ideally what we would do is we'd still have that block profile and then we'd break it up with something that's going to draw the eyes straight to it. Something that's going to either enhance trust and credibility or that's going to tell somebody very specifically how they can engage and interact with you. Any of those things would be an appropriate way to draw the eye. So bullet point them out or do dashes like we did here on mine and then put those right in the middle of your summary page to help break up the monotony of the, of a, of the block and to help draw the eye specifically to what it is that you do. Um, so those are some of the tips for today. The last tip I would end with is optimize your professional headline. The professional headline is the little description of words that goes right underneath your name and next to your picture on LinkedIn's profile. And the reason this is so important is because it follows you everywhere you go on LinkedIn. Whether you're commenting, you're sending an in-mail, you're interacting in some way in answers and questions forum, or somebody's looking you up on the who's viewed my profile. Whatever it is, wherever you show up with a picture and a name, they highlight over that, this professional headline is what pops up. So it's really important. This is the way in which you're going to be able to take quick action and get somebody to click on you and take a further look into what it is that you do. So with that, those are my tips for the day. Please check out linkstrategies.com and join our group on LinkedIn, which is also Link Strategies Group on LinkedIn. Have a great day.